Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining, Cecilia here and I'm all about inspiring you with art, helping you to improve your painting skills and unlocking your creativity. Today I want to talk about the creative process. You know, whenever I create a painting there is something that I deal with, like a subject that I'm going through, a message that belongs to the painting. And this painting here right next to me is about the creative flow. I decided to create paintings completely out of my imagination without any reference photo. And this painting is one of those, well, almost, I studied some landscapes and owls, but the whole scenery and the idea behind it is unique. First of all, why do I want that? Well, it is more interesting to me and I want to create paintings and worlds that have never been seen before. And really, I want to step back from control. You know, I have this perfectionism thing like creating the perfect painting and then I tend to paint from reference to be as accurate as possible. And in this way, I try to have everything figured out and be ahead of the next step, like thinking my way through it in a sense of already wanting to know all the steps before even starting, you can tell there is lots of control involved which actually stops creativity, right? But to me, the creative process isn't about making the perfect painting or knowing all the steps before. It's more about flow. And flow is effortless, flow is timeless, and it is selfless. There's no control, no forcing, no wanting, no trying, it's not predictable, it's the unknown. Like the perfect place to create from, this sweet spot where everything falls into place. And I think doing art is a wonderful and safe way to retrain that. To get out of the head and dive deep into the experience. It's not about knowing everything before it happens, but rather being surprised and emerged in whatever comes. So basically how that works for me is I have an idea in my mind, it just pops up, it's not that I'm thinking about it, it's just there. And since it is something new, it's a new image, I have no idea how to paint that. And like, sometimes I catch myself getting overwhelmed and as a cause, I procrastinate because I don't know how to paint that or even how to start. And that's what I mean by trying to figure it all out with the head. It's really not about that. And how can I when it's something new, right? So I have to remind myself that I know as long as I go, like I can see it unfolding by doing it. And the easiest way is to break it down into simple steps, working from the gross to the subtle. I guess the hardest part is the beginning. The way I do it is by sketching. And I kind of have a rule that I sketch whatever comes through without any expectations or any judgment. And in this way I have a first impression, like an overall look of the scenery and the main elements, and then I'm less likely to be overwhelmed. So I just tune in, I listen and take the first step. I do it, I sketch it, I adjust it from there until I feel that this is it and then I move on to the canvas. And again, I start with a rough acrylic sketch. It's not about knowing all of it, no. It's about getting one step closer to the actual painting. And with the acrylic underpainting, I'm approaching the colors and the dark and shadow parts. After that, I move on with oils. Depending on the size and complexity of the painting, I do more or less layers. But what I can say is that with each layer, I go more into depth and details. And again, I just follow the breadcrumbs step by step. I paint, look at it, adjust and go deeper. And I focus on being present in a calm and flowy state and just listen to whatever comes through and then act on it. Yeah. 
So how do I know where to go? Well, that's why I have a clear vision in my mind, like the painting itself is already given. And in this way, I, I know how it should look, even if the image is blurred in my imagination. I still have a feel for the final result. And I know when I'm done, basically the moment I notice that I disimprove it, like that I make it kind of worse with corrections and try to overdo it. Because I could always improve a painting, but I don't think that this is the point to like endlessly working on the same painting. Again, here the perfectionism comes into play. It's more about knowing when this is done and there's a point, a threshold that I can clearly feel. And then I know that the amount of work that I've done so far for this painting is good. And what I've learned, like the things I could improve, I implement in the next painting. For me, painting this way is much more fun because I get surprised. It feels like I'm just a tool and life flows through me to create this piece. I'm actively involved, but at the same time I'm not because I just let it happen. And yeah, it's like a living work of art. During the process, I'm totally immersed in that world. I am literally becoming the painting and I think that's what it is about, at least for me. like. I do not create a painting, I become the painting and let the painting create itself, if that makes sense. This approach I find really healing. I learn to let go and follow the steps that are unfolding right in front of me and trust the process. I don't have to know everything. Who says that? I mean, this is really exhausting and stressful and in my opinion, creating art shouldn't be stressful, right? There's so much more to learn and we never stop learning as long as we live. Like, life really is a journey of constantly evolving and therefore learning. And to me it seems like whenever I stop learning and instead resist, life gets hard and complicated and not flowy at all. So that's another reason for me to really learn how to be in that flow again. And it is playful as well, not needing to know everything, but discovering during the process, like the time we were children. And I think it's so important to hold on to that, to make room for that, and to actually live that, because this really brings joy and happiness, which ultimately life is about, right? To me, this approach not only applies to painting, I can expand that for life in general, like I have a vision and I hold it clearly in my mind and body, I know that it is done, that it is already given and I just follow the nudges step by step and in doing so I enjoy and trust the process. So that's it for today, thank you so much for watching, I would love to hear from you what flow means for you. How does the creative flow look like to you? How do you experience that? So share that in the comments below. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful day and until next time.